The year was 1987, and SMU, a powerhouse in college football, was caught in a scandal as big as Texas itself. The Mustangs were found guilty of repeated NCAA violations, primarily for a slush fund used to pay players under the table. It was like finding out the school's chess club was secretly funded by a James Bond villain. The NCAA, in a move as bold as a queen's gambit, handed down the death penalty, suspending SMU's football program for an entire season. This sanction was so extreme, it was as if the team vanished into thin air. No games, no touchdowns, just a ghostly silence where once there was the roar of a crowd. The impact was catastrophic. The once mighty Mustangs crumbled, and the program that had soared high on the wings of victory came crashing down. It was a fall from grace that turned the gridiron into a graveyard, a stern warning that echoed through the halls of college athletics.